Hey guys, what's going on here? Uh, well, it's been a little while since so I did a update on the aquaponics system. So I thought I'd just take you guys to a quick walkthrough, just kind of show you what's going on. Haven't been able to make a lot of um, big changes yet, but really there's no changes to make. It's just a matter of adding on some more grow beds and so forth. Um, but I just wanted to show you how the fish are doing and how the produce is doing and uh, a few other adjustments I may had to make because of some bandits. Uh, anyway, so just hold on and we'll get right to that. You guys, I showed you what little bit of stuff I had in here, how small it was. Um, everything's going pretty good. This kale's got a little bit of a light green to it, but I, what happens to that sometimes is uh, there's actually two plants in that bucket, by the way. Uh, from time to time when you use these little hoses, even with the filtration, I get stuff, and I think mostly what it is is algae because that had died. It was on the side of this sump tank, and I finally got it covered. But anyways, the Brussels sprouts really starting to come into their own there. They were in rough shape, and some of this, sorry about that, the broccoli here doing okay. Uh, lettuce kicking it. You know, I got me some peas growing right there, and uh, some more lettuce. One thing about it, you see the hydrogen there? You know, people always wonder, should I use hydrogen, should I use rock? Uh, the thing I've noticed in the hydrogen, see how that was flopped over there? Come down here and look at this big plant I got. This big broccoli plant that's right in the rock. You see how things just standing with no problem? Uh, I think I like the rock better. Here's another little uh, broccoli plant. We've got a nice little head growing down in there. Actually, I think this one has one forming on it as well. So things are growing well. Kind of started got settled out after all the changes. Now I just basically need to add some more growing space in here. I have a ton of material to work with that I'm going to be using. My wife calls it my all my Sanford and Son junk, but you know, it's, I try to repurpose as much stuff as I can. Uh, it just looks a little rough right now, but it'll come around in time. You guys know what I'm talking about. So anyways, there's the update on the uh, on some of the plants, guys. They're doing pretty good. Uh, so just hold on a second. I'm going to show you something that's going on with my fish. All right. I don't know how well you can see that in there, but uh, you kind of see that tarp there. I was going to make a nice cover for this, and I'm still going to, but uh, I had to hurry up and get this tarp on. I just uncovered it so you guys could see in there because I come out here one day, and I do love blue herons, as I'm sure most of you are if you're familiar with the bird. They are awesome. But when they're standing waiting in your fish tank <laughs> and they're trying to choke down some of your fish, it's not the best idea to leave them uncovered. But what I did do to get it probably stopped most of it was to see these big six inch green pipes. If you're looking there, you can see the fishes, a bunch of fish's tail sticking out in there. The specks I have in here, the speckled perch, they've gotten, they get really down deep in that pipe and I haven't lost any of them. It's the goldfish that have a tendency just to stay out here and give the bird a big smorgasbord. So I lost a few of those and I did have catfish in here as well but I moved them all into the other tank inside because uh, they were snacking on the goldfish as well. So now I'm trying to get them to eat the pellets. They're actually caught from a lake so I have to, uh, it's taking a little time but just starting to do it. So anyways that's basically an update. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, man I got a couple hundred subscribers now. That's kind of neat. You know I never didn't know what how many subscribers I'd get or how it would go, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, next time I'll probably go over a little bit more about the filtration here in this new system I have, the new barrel system, which is not much different. It's just a couple of modifications, not modifications that I did to make it better. But anyways, appreciate you watching, guys. Uh, you guys have a great one. Hopefully I'll get me an underwater camera shortly and I can give you guys some underwater footage of the catfish because they're in a pretty dark spot. It's kind of hard to see them. But anyways, hey, you guys have a great one. Awesome. If you like the video, like it. If you hate it, do that as well. But just let me know why. And don't forget to subscribe. Later, guys. Bye.